Hi everybody, how are you going? It's Friday, well, it's Good Friday, and uh, Gabe and I have just popped down here. Hello. Pit look, best dog in the whole universe here. Okay, so if you hear the pitter patter of little feet, it's just him. <laughs> so, welcome to another video. My name is Brooklyn, and I'm a life and spiritual coach for business owners. Hey, Mark, how are you going? And I wanted to share with you today uh, my vision for my clients. And I thought I'd just begin with a little bit of a case study. So one of the clients that I work with, her name is Gemma. And she asked me for help because she has this beautiful program. And of course, she's a beautiful soul, but she was just not closing sales. She wasn't getting people signing up to her coaching business. And we had a look at all of her stuff and you know, she would got her sales funnel and she had a website and she had a client profile and she knew her messaging and all of those sorts of good things. And so it was really interesting to see that despite also having quite a big audience, she's got over 20,000 followers in her group, not a single sale was being made. And so we were able to spend some time together and look at perhaps what was behind that. And really it all came down to fear. And I think this is something that we all experience in business uh, very, very regularly. And I think it's very isolating because for some people, other things come when there's fear, like maybe there's shame, guilt, imposter syndrome. You know, how can I be teaching these people these things if I'm not actually making the sales myself and things like that. And so it was really, really um, valuable to be able to help Gemma work through the fears that she was holding around her business and around closing sales. And some of her fears were, um, you know, she felt yucky closing her sales. She felt like, um, you know, it was just not a nice thing to do. She had these beliefs around what it was um, to ask for money for her services. She felt guilty about that. Um, she felt guilty asking her um, target client for money because her target client are mums and she feels like um, she had these beliefs around mums and money and that they should be spending the money on family and children rather than investing in her. She also felt very uncomfortable um, you know, with the whole sales process and didn't really understand how to put something in place that will feel right for her. But within about three or four weeks of working together, it was really exciting because a very beautiful thing happened and she was able to close her first sale. And she contacted me and she was so excited about it. And she said to me, it just felt really easy and she didn't understand what all the big fuss was at the beginning. And so then um, with that confidence, she was then able to go and uh, have more, more sales coming in. And this has really helped her business flourish, but it wasn't through uh, any new strategy or anything like that. It was just because she had been able to work through the fears that she had. And your fears are different to Gemma's, are different to mine, and we've all got them and we just need to work through them. Mark saying yes, exactly, and uh, we all vicariously go through it. Absolutely we do. And I think it takes a lot of bravery to be able to show up in that space of fear and actually eyeball it. And, you know, brave means or courageous means being afraid of something and doing it anyway. And to get to that point of needing help, you have to go on your own journey where you, where you get to a stage where you feel like you can't do it anymore and that you actually need somebody. It's almost this sense of desperation. And when people come to coaching, they're usually in that state. They've tried so many things themselves and they're exhausted, their resources are depleted, uh, they feel like they wanna give up, but there's some flame, there's some little spark inside them that says, no, I'm gonna give this one last shot. So the vision that I hold for my um, business coaching clients is that they can learn how to process through their own fear because when they do that, what happens is the releasing of the fear creates a nice space for beautiful experiences to come through. And um, that's probably the biggest driver for me. Everybody that I work with, uh, everybody in my Business Unleashed tribe, everybody uh, that's a business owner, all has something very, very special, very, very unique, and something that's worthy 
of time, of effort, of energy, and that somebody out there in the world needs their help with. But that person who needs them isn't getting the help because the person who's got the answers is trapped by their own fear. I believe that by helping people work through their fear and creating this space for them to build their confidence and invite new positive experiences in, that of course they can absolutely have the business um, that they're born to have and that they deeply desire and that feels right for them and that feels light and comfortable and enjoyable. I, I believe that people can wake up in the morning and be excited to go to work by doing um, service that lights them up in some kind of way. And I believe that my role at the moment is to help people work through that fear so they can have those really positive experiences. Mark says, oh, awesome, Dr. B. Thank you so much, Mark. It was really nice to see you here. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope you have a happy Easter to everybody that's celebrating Easter. Uh, Gabe and I are going to go home now and cook some hot cross buns and then get ready for uh, lunch with mum. So have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for your time. If you haven't grabbed your um, entry yet for the free ticket for the Business Unleashed Aligned Business Workshops, which are happening in Sydney on May 20 and Brisbane on May 24, Please scroll through previous posts on this page and you'll be able to um, secure your entry. The entry is closed tonight at 8 p.m. Um, Saturday, the 19th of April, Australian Eastern Standard Time. We'll be announcing the winners tonight for um, both of those locations. So good luck, happy Easter, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.